Wouldn't it be great if you could create a BOM table of only excluded items from the BOM? If you have ever thought about that, then I'll give you a solution. When dealing with large assemblies in SolidWorks, you may come across the need to exclude components from the BOM for several reasons. Maybe because you need to keep track of some items that will not be bought, you name it. If you will exclude a few ones, then keeping track of them may not be too bad. But if you have lots of assemblies and sub-assemblies, and you have some excluded items there and others somewhere else, then it would be great to have a way for SolidWorks to show you all the excluded items in one place, right? Sadly, there is no easy way to do that. There is no way that a BOM table will help us, but instead we can go to the Assembly Visualization tool, which is located on the Evaluate tab. This tool is great because it creates a sort of table in which you can monitor several properties of your interest in a very visual way by classifying your items with colors. You can keep track of the most massive components or the materials of your assembly, etc. What we're gonna do is to visualize here the excluded items and then create an Excel file. In the third column of the table, you can click on this triangle to see more options. Here, you can add more columns and access lots of SOLIDWORKS properties to your table. We're gonna access the excluded from BOM property. Depending on the kind of property used, you can further visualize the property values in bars, like when visualizing mass. Other properties, like the one we're using, will disable this option. With the flat nested view, you can organize the table rows by only top-level assembly components or a flat view of all individual parts. Finally, the third option, grouped ungrouped view, will fuse together rows of the same component or organize them as individual parts. With these options adjusted to your needs, you can order the rows depending on the excluded state they are in. Now this is an extra because it won't help when building the Excel file, but it's great for visual purposes. If you right click on this flag and select Group Identical, you'll notice that there are more flags now exactly where the excluded from BOM property changes the state. Move these two flags that are close together a little and now choose the same color for each pair so you can really tell visually which component is excluded. Finally, if you click again on this triangle and choose the option Save As, you'll get this pop-out window in which you can create an Excel, text or PDF file of the same table you see on the left side. You can build a table with one of these three options, the last one being the best since it'll show each component on a hierarchical level. But if that's too much, then also the parts only option will do since it'll give you a result exactly as seen on the table on the left. And last but not least, the most important property of all is this checkbox. Of course, uncheck it and wait for your file to be created. Now just apply your favorite filters and sort the table to your liking and you're good to go. Another great thing about this is that you can save this table format as, as a template. Click again here and now choose the Save Style option. This will create a file with instructions for the assembly visualization tool to remember how you want your table to be created. Next time you open another file and want to do the same thing, just click here one last time and choose Load Style. Find the template you just created and behold the automated process. And that's it! I hope you found this useful and that it'll help you with your work and those big assemblies. Now go and show your boss and co-workers your new trick and blow their minds. If you found this useful, leave a like and consider subscribing for more SOLIDWORKS unique tips and tricks. And if you have a problem that you don't know how to solve in SOLIDWORKS and would like to see a video about it, then leave it in the comments down below. I'll be seeing you fellow designers. Remember, work smarter, not harder.